Right, well, here we are. We're two months in since this site first went up. Yep. One month since the store opened. Yep. We're about to hit 400 members on the site. Yep. And, and I think the most exciting thing is this is a response to people understanding the importance of local food exchange and, yep. and sharing, peer-to-peer -peer food exchange. Yeah. So today, I, we, for us to talk a little bit about the sorts of things that have been happening on Ubi, we, we're very fortunate to be able to watch and see the activity and um, some really exciting things have, have come from it. So, James, you had a story about yeah, the Yeah, I've got a cool story. So right at, right at the beginning, we, we only had maybe a dozen members on or something. Yep. I'd gone out and picked four buckets full of plums thinking I was going to make a whole bunch of preserves. Yep. And we were in the preparation to opening up the store, so we were already running 90 miles an hour, and there was no way I was going to make these preserves. I didn't have the time for it. So, and and but before I could even think about what to do with them, a note popped up on Ubi, and Christy said, "Hey, I'm looking for some extra fruit. If anybody's got some, I'd love to to come and get it, and and I'll return some plum sauce and plum jam and so forth." So I said, "Go for it. I've just got these four buckets. Help yourself." I yeah. leave them on the driveway. She came and picked them up, and a few days later, I got a whole bunch of jars of nicely labelled Ubi plum sauce and plum jam. Perfect, perfect. That's okay. that's the sort of facilitation that we want to right. happen. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it, it it's literally worked like magic for some people. My mum actually, she um, she put out on Ubi that she wanted some pots. The next day, someone came and dropped pots on our doorstep. She put on Ubi that she wanted some seedlings. The next day someone came and brought seedlings. So it's kind of like, it seems to have been working like magic for some people and you know, it's not anyone else's magic other than everyone coming together. So yeah, that's really exciting. So, and I think part of what is making it so successful is the fact that we don't just have an online community. No. We, we, have, this, we have this physical store as well. So yeah. there's that on land as well as online. Yeah. And that's enabling people to come together and, and you know, it's a drop-off zone for the for the produce that people want to exchange. Yeah. They do a little exchange online, yeah. and then somebody drops it off the store, and later yeah. somebody else comes in and picks it up. Yeah. yeah. And what we're also noticing is there's a real knitting of real social networks happening, um, where we're actually getting to know the, our people in our own backyards. I was uh, down at the store the other day, and a fellow walked in, and I went. Chris Greaves. I knew him even before I'd never ever met him because I'd seen him up on Ubi and I, I had an understanding of what his food growing skills were and where his interests and so forth were and so therefore we had a, we were able to jump start into a conversation straight away where we could start doing things for each other. So there's a lot that seems to be happening with, uh, with what's going on on Ubi. I mean that's only my experiences. Then we've got uh, conversations happening all over the place from watching how there's little tips going here and there and food exchanges being sorted out and all sorts of things. People's like that. questions getting answered about yeah. their, their issues with different things. But coming back to Chris Greaves and that example, um, it really that, that really highlights the need to put your photograph up on the site. If you yeah. haven't already done that, please go for yeah. it because it really Do makes, it a, makes difference. a difference. Yeah. 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 Um, so the idea is really to, to, to help you connect to people in, in your local area. So invite other people who, who you know who are interested in food in your local area and then the exchanges can start to happen. Yeah? Yep. Okay, so we'll give you another update again soon.